Luis appeal was on Wednesday, and one of the things, one of the reasons we were visiting him uh, was to tell him how his appeal went. And um, for those of you who don't know, Weave was charged with conspiracy to commit unauthorized access to AT&T's iPad email servers. He was convicted for conspiring with co-defendant Daniel Spittler in downloading 114,000, roughly 114,000 emails from AT&T's iPad email servers and uh, sending that list to Gawker, which then published it, and for which crime he's been sentenced to 41 months. For something that was essentially a security flaw, uh, of uh, at ts own design, because they testified at trial that they made a, uh, a, a, a business choice for the convenience of the customers not to password protect this information. All they had to do was password protect the information. That's my five-year-old son knows how the password operates. So, you know, but, you know, we used to, what do you say, 41 months for doing arithmetic, for uh, incrementing a uh, URL. He sent me between 10 and 20 letters in the last uh, month or two. I've received one. He's been interrogated by FBI agents who've asked him questions about the contents of a attorney letter that he sent to me, aka the FBI is reading uh, Weaves and my correspondence. I have received a call from the FBI though, who uh, we're having coffee with apparently about Weaves letters. Um, yeah, besides that, when we went, Nicole and I went to go visit him, he was talking to us in a six by what, like, eight cell in an orange jumpsuit from behind glass. When we went to see him, we're in a large room with probably maybe 150 other people, you know, like, uh, you know, like 20 or 30 prisoners and their family. They're all able to sort of sit across tables, hang together, hug together, hold hands, um, you know, drink, uh, get snacks from the vending machine. It's like a very, very jovial room. And we're the only two people that are chatting to the only person that's behind glass. You have to do it through a phone. You have to like hold your, like close your other ear and you're straining to hear what it's saying. Which, I mean, there's no reason for that other than, you know, it's just, you know, more, you know, just like, let's make life difficult for, for you know, this individual. If you're in the shoe, apparently the policy at this prison is you don't get the attorney room, and I, the only reason I can think that they're denying him the attorney room is they want to deny him uh, human contact. You know, some states are getting getting rid of the shoe entirely, and I think there's a movement to uh, consider it like you know cruel and unusual punishment under the uh, Eighth Amendment because putting somebody in that kind of space and isolating them is, is a form of mental torture, and um, you know uh, it, it's actually I think kind of brutal, psychologically brutal. Weave has been there for a month, and he has no end in sight and nor is there even a, um, a process for him to get out of there um, it, it, it's just unending and to be like you know alone in a cell um, just you know without you know without hope is appalling